our favorite place is Bustani Plant Farm. And joining me is a familiar face, Steve Owens, um, of course, owner of Bustani. Thank you, doing, you for Casey? having us here. I know you're closed, so I appreciate you letting us in. But we wanted to talk a little bit about what gardens and nurseries are doing in order to get ready for April. And we've been talking about starting seeds a lot. So let's talk about how you get all your plants ready. Sure, we, we grow a lot of stuff from seed. We do some stuff from cuttings, things like that. But uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of things from seed. And you know, we, we grow a lot of native plants here. Right. And uh, we have to come up with certain methods to get those seeds to germinate. Uh, I think a lot of people have, have grown seeds from, from tropical places, warm climates like tomatoes, peppers, zinnias, things like that, where all you have to do is plant them, keep them a little bit moist, and the, the warm temperature will cause them to germinate. Right. Well, here, here, here in Oklahoma, you know, we're in a temperate climate. Uh, we have cold winters, we have hot summers. So the seeds here are a little bit trickier uh, to get them to, to sprout. And they have these, the seeds have these natural uh, protection mechanisms uh, that keep them from sprouting until the conditions are just right. So what we try to do is provide those seeds with something that's gonna be similar to a winter time. Okay. So what we do is a cold, moist stratification. Okay. And you've talked about stratification right. on the show before. Right. It's a physiological response for that, like you said, protection for the seed. Because we know yesterday it was snowing, it seemed like, and today it's now summer all of a sudden. Yes, so. welcome to Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been doing this method for about 17 years and I've had great success, okay. success with it. And I'll show you down here, we got some flats. Yeah. Just a few of our mini flats. But uh, the cold, moist stratification, it's different than just putting the seeds in the refrigerator um, because out here, the seeds are going to experience a little bit of wet, dry, a little bit of warm, cold, freezing, thawing, that kind of thing. Right. And we leave these flats outside okay. uh, all through the winter. And we want to do that for about 90 days or three months. Mm -hmm. So we, we try to have this done in early November. But, uh, but you can see all the labels we've got of the plants here. And you look at them and you're like, that just looks like a flat of gravel. <laughs> right. There's a reason for that. And okay. I'll, I'll just show you real quick okay. over here, kind of how we go about it. I've got some, some seeds of Threadleaf Blue Star, one of our native perennials. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll sow these, you know, on Pretty the- Pretty thick there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, kind of thick. Uh, probably at home, you, you, you don't have to do it that thick. Right. But this is a this is a seed starting mix. It's it's very fine. It's mostly vermiculite. Okay. Uh, so we we have those fine particles get good seed to soil contact, uh, so that moisture will uh, will will get in there. But uh, we sow those seeds. We uh, well then we'll take some of the soil and just put just just a tiny not that much but just a, a tiny you know little bit of soil over the seeds. And then uh, you, see, you see all this gravel looking right, stuff yeah. here. We, we covered this with, uh, it's granite chips or granite grit. Okay. And this is... Um, and where do you get granite grit from? Good question. That's, it's actually an agricultural product. Oh, okay. Uh, people will buy this for their, their fowl, their... Oh, their, uh, their chickens, yeah. Yeah, chickens, chicken grit, turkeys, yeah. that kind of thing. But uh, you'll, you'll sometimes see it as chicken grit mm -hmm. or just granite grit. Right. And I cover the seeds with this. Uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, it, some of the really small seeds, I mean, these, these aren't small, but some of the really small seeds, if we have like a big rainstorm, okay. the, uh, just that intense rain can splash the soil, splash the seeds away. So that's another layer of protection. That Absolutely. Sort of breaks yeah. that impact from the Yeah, rain. yeah, okay. they're not really covered. I mean, uh, they're, you know, it's only about a quarter of an inch. So right. light, light can get down in there. Uh, another thing and I would it does, imagine if it was a, a larger grit, then you would have problems with germination, right? So yes. the size works well. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. You don't want the really big chunks don't of gravel. Don't get gravel rocks. off your driveway. That's right. Uh, unless it's really, really fine. Okay. But this will also protect a little bit from uh, some of the rodents. It's crazy how the mice will find these seeds yes. and come wanting to uh, dig in there. And birds as well will come and try to take your seeds. And a little bit from uh, some of the frost heaving, like just from the wet and oh, okay. Yeah, okay. cold and uh, freezing thawing. Is that what this thawing. is, is happening Yeah, here? that is. That's a okay. little bit. That's a little bit of uh, the frost heaving right there. Uh, when we have those really, really cold days, we uh, we get a little bit of that. 
But again, uh, we leave these outside for 90 days or about three months. So just like this, or I mean, well, those boxes used for something? Yes, or? yeah, that okay. is one more step. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, these are just some frames with uh, hardware cloth. Uh -huh. And you can see all the labels are kind of pushed to the side right, right there. But uh, yeah, we put that over, knee, over the top. And that is another layer of protection from uh, anything that wants to come in, <laughs> come in and eat our seeds or just, just disturb those. Okay. But these, these will sit out here on the ground uh, in the sun. And, and, and that ground contact's important, right? Very, very good point. On, on the ground, you, you do get some, uh, some thermal uh, conductance, uh -huh. uh, just the warmth from the ground. It, uh, it makes a difference versus uh, putting them up on a table where a lot more cold air can get underneath. You've got some that are germinating and some that haven't yet. So where are we at? After, we're after 90 days. And of course you're doing this for nursery production. So it's, your timing is very important. <laughs> yes, yes. After, after those 90 days or whatever, we want to get the plants popping up uh, so we can get those into small pots and have them ready to sell when, mm -hmm. when we open here in the springtime. So what we do, we'll take these into the greenhouse uh, for us, it's usually around the 1st of February, and we'll put them on a heating mat. Okay. And it's kind of amazing, Casey, uh, in two or three days, this stuff just explodes. <laughs> I mean, it just, the seeds think, oh my gosh, the ground is constantly Spring is warm. Here and... Spring is here, and they, they, they start growing, and then I really get busy potting those up. <laughs> so what is your process? We've got some here. Um, are these ready to be potted up? They're pretty thick there. Yeah, this is, a, this is another uh, dimension of sowing the seeds outside. This is uh, standing cypress okay. or, or ipomopsis, and it's a biennial. Mm -hmm. And out in the wild, these things usually germinate in the fall, and they'll grow a little bit in the wintertime. And then when the spring comes, they, uh, they make a little bit of a rosette, and then as it gets warmer, they'll bolt okay. and start flowering. Yeah. Uh, and then set seed and drop the seed Do and their start, thing. start yeah. the <laughs> process all over again. I mean, it's kind of amazing. These little guys right here will be about five feet tall uh, wow. in, in June. But they are, they are very thick, so we take these high-tech uh, high -tech tools here. This is just a bamboo skewer, and we'll come in and uh, just kind of tease them loose, go way below the soil, pull these up, and And each one of those guys is pretty important to you, right? Each one of these, yes. And then we'll just kind of tease them loose, and we'll just have the little plants here, pot those up into a little cell, uh, let it fill that with roots, and then we'll pot it up to its finished pot later on. Well, Steve, it looks like this method clearly works for you. So I would say you're doing something right. It's been working great for 17 years. So obviously we've got a long way to go in just a few months from these tiny little seedlings to your uh, sale. When is the sale opening? Uh, it's, it's April the 16th. That's our official opening date, always mid-April when we open. Okay, and so these will be in nice size pods for us to purchase then. Absolutely, they'll grow quite a bit by that time. All right, thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.